Michigan man is facing 14 felony counts after allegedly stealing more than $65,000 from people who were trying to prepay for their funerals. Fox Toledo's Kevin Mullen joins us now live with where things go from here. Kevin. Well, when Daryl Bennett sold his funeral home to Brad Procknow, he was excited for the future. His lifelong business in the hands of someone he trusted, and he could finally retire to Florida. Turns out the funeral director was dead wrong. It makes me feel terrible for those people, and it also makes me feel terrible for um, the, the man himself. The now owner of Bennett Funeral Home felt so badly when one of the victims died, he paid for the funeral out of his own pocket. And I didn't have the nerve and the courage to tell those folks that I'm sorry. Um, the guy that I sold to and put in here has taken your money and left. When you prepay for your funeral, the money is supposed to go into a trust. Proc now is accused of lying to the customers of what is once again called Bennett Funeral Home and pocketing the sometimes thousands of dollars they were prepaying for their funerals. I'm sure that the prosecutor's office is going to pursue restitution in this, but it's a lot of money. You know, he owes a lot of people a lot of money. Daryl Bennett returned to Michigan and took back his funeral home in early August after getting complaints. That's what Trooper Mark Moore started asking questions. Since then, 14 victims have been identified. I'm hoping that we've found all the victims. My concern is there might be a few out there. Tonight, Brad Proc now faces nine counts of failing to escrow funds according to the Prepaid Funeral or Cemetery Sales Act. He also faces one count of uttering and publishing for forging a report and four counts for bouncing checks. If convicted, he could face 67 years in prison and have to pay more than $50,000 in penalties. I hope that the damage he's done can be rectified. Uh, time will tell. Now Bennett is hoping that, this, that his industry will learn from this as well. He says it would be better for the checks to be sent directly to the manager of the trust, eliminate the middleman, and eliminate the temptation all at the same time. Meanwhile, Brad Proc now is out of jail on bond. He's expected in court in late January. Reporting live, Kevin Mullen, Fox Toledo News.